you know, it seems very complicated, right? But, but I will explain that to you. Okay, let me ask you, if your house, if your house on fire, okay? What is the number one thing that you are going to bring out? Okay? Your, <laughs> your lights? <laughs> thing, thing, you know, <laughs> stuff, not a person. Yeah. Pers yeah, the, the, the person is the number one that, yeah, you know, that we, can, we have to save at first, right? But how about your, you know, about your stuff around you? Maybe like for Isaac, he, he must bring out his laptop because, <laughs> you know, he just bought one. And, and how about, you know, expense, expensive, expensive, you know, jewelries, right? right? And you will bring out the most important thing in your current life, right? There's no wonder. So if, if you ask a real traditional Jew guy, you know, it must be like this one. Thing, yep. Ah, yeah. It, he's gonna bring out this one. It's called pig. And let me open it. I'll open it for you. It doesn't. Okay. It's, it, it looks like this. This is uh. What do you think? You know, this is Barbie house. What's that? What's that, Isaac? Oh, okay. Penthouse <laughs> game? What, what do you think this is? I don't know. Penthouse. Yes, it is a container. And container for what? I have no idea. Okay, next slide. Next slide. Okay. It's called Tick or Torah Scroll Container. Wow. Yeah, this is like six. 6,500 pounds because it's, it's an antique one, it's an expensive one. So, no wonder, you know, they will bring out this one at first, right? Okay, let's look at the next one, slide. Okay, this is on eBay. Yesterday, I found it. So, this is what tick? The container of Torah. And the, look at the price tag. Oh, yeah. It's amazing, right? $3,349.99. Why, why did they put the 99 cents there? You know? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. Okay, look at the other ones on the top. Wow, it's expensive. More than, you know, 3000 3, <laughs> Shipping is 150 <laughs> Yeah, like this is the price tag of, you know, those stuff are around more than $3,000. And they are way expensive than your laptops, right? Mm -hmm. And your computers. And, you know, no wonder they will bring out this one first, right? Because <laughs> the container itself is this, this much expensive. <laughs> and, and, you know, when their, their house is on fire, you know, they will bring out this one. <laughs> so these ticks are on eBay right now, as of yesterday. Right? That means people are buying them in these days. Uh -huh. And Jews, they are buying this because they love the words of God. Amen? Yeah. Words of God. Only for Torah. This one is only for, you know, Torah. Yeah. And but, uh, we do not love as much as they do in these days, right? So where is your Bible? <laughs> how do you, how do you, how much do you care about the Bible? It's all around our houses and it, even we, we have there some of them too, right? So, let me just go back to the Torah. So, uh, I'm not condemning you, but I, I just want to compare how, how much we care about the Torah or Bible and the passion for Jews on their only Torah. They have only five books, right? Torah. So we have more books and we have New Testament. But, but you know, we, we should better care to, to our Bibles, right? We should put some gold plates, you know? 
uh, on our uh, you know Bible, I guess. So let me go back to Torah. So what are the the name of the books? Ah, you, we already showed it, right? <laughs> what is Torah? Genesis, Genesis yeah, five, it should, should show me the next one. Okay. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, right? So what is, what is the center of the, those five books? It, it is Leviticus. And who wrote these books? Moses. Moses. Moses wrote these five books. And you know the you know Bible scholars they 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 uh, they are saying that the Leviticus is the first book, you know, that uh, Moses wrote, and and after and it was given after 400 years of slavery. Israelites need to change their mindset from from uh, you know I am a slave to a uh, people of you know God. They have to change their mind and lifestyle after 400 years of slavery in Egypt. So, and that's the law of God, and which is Leviticus. And to, to be godly and holy citizens of God, so that they will go into the, the promised land called Canaan. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, now, ah, spring is finally around here, right? Yeah. Yeah, and the, all the living creatures are stretching up and waking up, you know, and with the sunshine and refreshing breeze around here. And you also want to change your lifestyle, right? Amen. You don't want to live, you know, like, the, you know, you, you don't want to continue your old lifestyle anymore, especially those who got married, you know, recently, right? <laughs> they want to change the lifestyle. And where can you start your new lifestyle? Which is, which book would you like to read first? Leviticus. Yes, Leviticus. Yes. And when, when a Jew boy becomes thirteen years old, what do what do we call? They celebrate, and this they make a big party. You know, it's called bar, match bar, right? And what does it mean? It means the son of commandment. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Ba Metzvah is son of commandments. And they celebrate 13th birthday since now this young boy can read the Bible by himself. Okay? They celebrate and uh, the 13th birthday and and they recommend this boy to read which book? The first? Leviticus, yes. They, they read the Leviticus first. So, what is the book of Leviticus? What is it trying to tell you? What, what is the main idea? What is, what is the main topic of Leviticus? So, it is the law of God, I told you, right? And what kind of law? Does it deal with anybody? What? Oh, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> she already gave you the answer, right? So, what is all about? The law to meet God. Amen? Amen. What kind of law is it? To meet God. Yes, this is the most important law that we also need to teach and learn to meet God. Amen? Amen. Amen. This, is, this is the way that you and I can get blessings from God. Amen? Amen. So, Leviticus was named later uh, with a Latin language, but the original name of the book is in Hebrew, Hebrews was, what was that? Wa Ikra. Let's repeat it. To all together. Wa Ikra. It means and he called. He means God. God called whom? Who's the writer? Moses. Moses. And God called Moses. If you remember the start of Leviticus, we, we just read, that was the first one. And it was it is in the old Hebrew name of the book. Wa Ikra. 
And then the Lord called to Moses. That was the you know na old name of the Leviticus, and it is. It's actually it is a connecting story, right? And it is the when the uh, when we look at the Bible, what is the the previous book to Leviticus? It was Exodus. 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 Okay. Hannah, can you read Exodus, the last four or three um, verses before the Leviticus? Would, would you read it out loud? Amen. Amen. Moses finished building the, the tent of meeting, tabernacle. And the glory of God was filled, filled up with it. And could Moses go in, enter the temple? No. Why is it? Why, why he couldn't, you know, go into the tabernacle? Be because of, yeah, okay. He had his own sins. But God's glory and holiness was filling with the tabernacle. Moses was a just human being like, we, like us, and he had sins with him. So he could not go into the tabernacle, like you said. And let's back to the, you know, go back to the first verse of Leviticus. To meet God, God had to do something for us, like, like he did for Moses, right? And what what God did what, what did God do for for that? He 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 called called Moses, right? He called Moses. So God has to call on us through a cell phone or no. <laughs> oh, maybe it could be you no know, cell phone or any any type of you know contact to you. God have God has to call you to meet God. So even even though God is here with us, do you think we can we can feel Him? Uh, you know, maybe no. We cannot feel or meet God because of our sins. Our sins are blocking us uh, from the feeling of presence of God. But we want to meet God. Amen. Amen. We want to meet God. Amen. 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 So, uh, so how do we meet God? That's the question. But we, we want to meet God, and the book of Leviticus tells us how to meet God. So do you want to meet God, right? Amen. So let's, let's study about Leviticus. So we can decide, you know, and we can divide Leviticus into two, two big chunks, two big parts. Uh, one is, next slide, one is from chapter 1 to 16, and it is all about how to give, you know, offerings and the steps and laws of giving offerings to God. And if we, you know, translate in, 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 the, in today's situation, this means that we can meet God through our worship services. Amen. Like we are doing here. And it deals, and it deals, uh, another part is, okay, how to live a holy life. The later part of Le Leviticus deals with how to re live a holy life. And by having a holy life is you, you can meet God too. It deals with, let's read it all together. Diseases, food, unclean locations and stuff, sexual morality, and abiding the biblical holidays, procedures of giving birth, your selection of blessings and curses, and fulfilling a special vow to God. All these stuffs are, you know, can can block us to meet God. Okay? So all these items are written in, in chapters 17 to, to 27, and they can block us uh, from God. So we got we got to be be very careful with these things. This is a holy lifestyle, you know. 
to 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 meet God, not making sins against God. Okay, so what is sin then? Have you ever thought about what is sin? <laughs> What is the definition of sin? Who made it? You know, we hate sins, right? <laughs> Who made it? <laughs> and it was God. Can you imagine? God made the definitions of sins. God also told us the way of covering the sin too. Uh, in Korean, 병주고 약주고? Okay, all together. So God defined sins and he also gave us way of atonement atonement so why did he do it you know for us why you know we just leave us you know <laughs> why did he do it it sounds very complicated by just reading you know steps of you know giving offerings today another word of you know another word of forgiveness of sins is okay i like i told you atonement right Atonement. If you look at the word atonement, next slide, you can break it down like this. At one month. Right? So what does it mean? You know, making you know uh, rules, you know, uh, making rules of sins or forgi forgiveness of sins are all to be, you know, united uh, to be united as one. Okay? One plus one equal two? two. Is it two? One. In atonement, it is one. So, uh, Yun Jung and Matthew got married and they became one. Right? Amen. You, you got the picture? Yeah. Right? So, God wants to be united with us and it means marriage. Amen. 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 Marriage. Amen. A man and a woman become one through marriage. And God wants us to be united with us through the rules of sins and atonement. Amen? Amen. 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 So can you believe this? God wants to marry us to be one. Amen. Uh, you know, I have a hard time to understand this as a man. <laughs> but you know, spiritually, all the believers are female, the woman. Amen. And Amen. that we can be united with the one male who is Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. So let me give you, an, uh, uh, you know, evidence that God wants to, to marry with us. Joshua, can you read it for us out loud? The red, red, you know, sentences. Can you see it? And I will... Okay. Amen. 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 Betroth you. What does that mean? I will get married with you. Right? Amen. Through Hosea, you know, God clearly told us that God wants to be united with us. No wonder it's written in Bible. Okay? Amen. I have a, a, a reference for that. What, what is it? Leviticus 4? You know, I just told you. To meet God, to be united with God. Amen. And Leviticus becomes the real, you know, without knowing this kind of concept, the book of Leviticus is really boring. Right? <laughs> we, without knowing this, you know, God's, God's uh, you know, intention to give Leviticus, the book of Leviticus is just rules and, you know, laws and what the heck is it, you know? <laughs> we, we, don't, uh, we don't understand. But actually, God wants to be, uh, wants to unite, unite with, us, okay. with us, okay? So, the chapter 1 deals with the burnt offering. The burnt offering is the way to meet God. The first step of it. And it is the first step, and the burnt offering means, actually it means your dedication mm -hmm. to God. In other words, burnt offering means the amount of your life that is currently being given to 
God. Let's read it again, the, the bold letter. The bond offering means the amount of your life that is currently being given to God, which is your dedication to God. Amen? Amen. 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 So how, how did they give a bond offering to God? Let's look at the verse 2. Isaac, can you read it for us? Speak to the sons of Israel and say to them, When any man of you brings an offering to the Lord, you shall bring your offering of animals from the herd or the flock. So how did they choose the offering? From, from what? Herd. Their herd or flock, right? Which means that I need to select the one, one that I was raising. One that I, I put my love and tender loving care, right? <laughs> An animal. So I have, to, I have to choose one from my own without defect, right? And why, why God is asking among, you know, the one that I'm raising? Because, because it needs to be, okay, later on, who's going to kill the, you know, offering? Me. Me. It's, it's going to be me. I'm going to choose one and I'm going to kill it. Okay, the rest of the process is done by a priest. But when, when, it, when it was killed, I have to kill it. So that means, this means that I need to give my all heart to God. Amen? Amen? Amen. For our situations, it means offering is... Um, Offering that we just, you know, gave to God. These are all our hearts, hearts to God. Amen. So, did you uh, give the offering with your all hearts? Amen. I, I believe that you, you did it. Amen. So, now the offering, the offering animal needs to be brought to, you know, brought, uh, brought and presented to the, you know, priest at the tent of meeting, this becomes, you know, this becomes problematic. You think this is a very simple process. Oh, just bring the, you know, animal. But, but they had to bring the animal all the way from their home, home to the tabernacle, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Later, sometime, you know, some of them, they had to bring their animal for weeks and for a month, okay? From their home to the tent of meeting, mm -hmm. or, or temple of God, mm -hmm. and it, 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 it could take up to one month, or you know, a little bit more than that. And on the way, the, the offering animal can be sick, or they might have some defects mm -hmm. by falling down on the cliff or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. and, and all your, you know, your offering will not be accepted mm -hmm. if there is any defect in this, you know, offering animal. So can you imagine that? How much they care about their, you know, give a you know, good care of the offering on the way, right? They have to feed it and they have to, you know, cover it from the, you know, the cold, <coughs> cold weather <laughs> and not to make it, you know, defect. So when you think about today's worship services compared to the old days, you know, you know, you should give your best worship services Amen. and you know just uh, writing down checks or just putting some cash you know we should think about that mm -hmm. uh, just giving offerings today and compared to the old times Amen. right amen? amen so God wants us to give services at a specific location here and specific offerings that you just gave and specific time. We set up the time, right? And around, you know, 2.30. So that's the specific location offering time. Mm -hmm. So just, just put that in your mind. So that is the number one priority to give, to meet God. Amen? Amen. 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 For the bond offering, the offering should be free from any defects, like I told you. It must be a male one. The offerings can be a young bull, sheep, goat, or a bird. So God wants 
to be united with us regardless of your um, you know whether you are wealthy guy or poor guy mm -hmm. so you, you can if you are if you have a you know a lot of money then you can bring a bull as an offering but if you cannot do it you can bring a, a pigeon you know you can bring it so god wants us to give uh, wants us to be united with us regardless of your your situation so one characteristic of this you know bull sheep goat and bird is and uh, these are the tamed animals amen, amen. tamed animals this this means that you should have possibilities to be changed amen. possibility of being changed amen. in front of god Amen. 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 So if you think you, you, you don't want to be changed at all, or if, if you don't want to put down your thoughts before God, you cannot be the offering of God. God cannot accept you. So please open your hearts. Please have humble minds that, that what you, your thoughts could be wrong. I could be wrong before God. That kind of, you know, um, attitude Amen. when you are in, in the service. Amen. Amen? So, let me ask you. Can anybody give a lion as an offering? Uh, no? no? Can anybody, yes. anybody, you know, give a crocodile no. as an offering? No, 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 no. And those aggressive animals such as tigers and e you know, eagles cannot be given to God. Why is it? Because these animals, they hurt other animals. They eat, eat, eat other animals, hmm. right? So they cannot be the ones that, that could be offered to God. So once you are you know, successfully brought the offering to the tabernacle, the first step is what? What was it? What was that? The first step is laying on the hands with all your strength put it down you know with the with the animal with animal's head and what does it mean by it? you transfer your sins to the animal so once it is done the, the sins are transferred to the offering and what is the penalty of sin Death. sins Death. 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 so so the owner of the offering killed it for his sins and it is very hard thing to do imagine that you raise a you know some dog or for example a cat <laughs> you you kill it oh, it's gonna be very hard situation so it, it it feels like you are you you die before God amen, amen. so the next step, step is cutting out horns and cutting off the head from the body and it means your pride before God needs to be cut off amen, amen. and when you when you come into to the church you should put down your pride mm -hmm. at the altar amen. right here okay amen. so the next step is the priest cut uh, they, they cut the legs because the legs brought you the mm -hmm. outside of the world you know they, they went here and there and, you know, on some, you know, unwanted, you know, locations. It, it, it just brought you there, right? Mm -hmm. They have to cut off the leg. And, and then next thing is, skin next thing is, what? The, they have to skin the offering. They have, have to take out the skin of offering. When you think of Jesus, you know, he was... Before he was on the cross, he was naked. He, he didn't wear anything on the cross. The Roman soldiers, they took his clothes because at that time, you know, we have lots of clothes, right, around here. But at that time, the clothes was really expensive and, you know, fancy things to have. So they, have, they took it, you know, from Jesus. So that means the total shame for for Jesus right so 
then the offering becomes six pieces, the two legs and the four pieces of the body. They just cut them, you know, into six pieces. This means that death of our outer being. Amen? Death of, death of our outer being. Okay? okay? So, the next step is the leg parts and entrails, and the inner parts. And they should be washed with water. <laughs> Why do we have to wash the legs and inner parts? The legs brought us to the outside simple locations, right? To the world. So they have to be washed before it is given to God. And the inner parts also needs to be washed with water because we had hidden sins inside of us. So they, they have to wash it before it is given to God. Amen? Amen. Amen. So another important thing is that the blood and smell of the burnt offering. The priest should sprinkle the, 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 the blood from the, you know, from, from, from the offerings and they, put, they have to put, put this um, blood four sides of the altar. They have to sprinkle it. And the smell of, you know, burning offering becomes soothing aroma to the, word, uh, to the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, even though you, okay, even though you close your eyes, you can, okay, you can picture of something when you smell something, okay? Mm -hmm. So, close your eyes and when you have a very bad smell, you can imagine, you know, oh, who did this, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? The smell tells you the truth. Good smell, especially you know, it makes you happy. That's why, you know, we, we put on some, some yeah, yeah, clones, right? So, perfumes. So, the, with the blood and the soothing aroma to the Lord, all your sins can be forgiven and covered. And in New Testament, in, in New Testament, the Paul mentioned, we are a fragrance of Christ to God. In, in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 2, verse 15, what is the fragrance of Christ? Paul, Paul meant it, the character of Christian believers. By facing our outer being's death, the, you know, by just putting ourselves down before God, we can reveal the the characteristic of our inner beings, which is the, you know, characteristic of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. It is our inner being. It's, it's called fragrance of Christ. And it is also, you know, what God mentioned in Leviticus is a soothing aroma to God. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Do you have that kind of, you know, fragrance and aroma? Amen. Amen. Bonio, do you have it? Yes. Say amen. 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 Yes. So what is the evidence of, of the forgiveness of sins? There must be a, you know, it must be a, you know, change the character. Amen. amen. So this is also result of the repentance. And when you reach this stage, your, all your problems will be resolved. When you have the mind of Jesus Christ, and your all your problems becomes no problem at all. Amen. Amen. Jesus summarized it at the you know at this summarized this status with eight blessings. These are called beatitudes, right? Beatitudes. Sam, can you read eight beatitudes? In the boxes. Amen. And these are the beatitudes that can be summarized into into this word. Next click. Gentle 
and humble in heart. This is basic of basic attitude of, you know, uh, uh, characteristic of Jesus Christ. Jesus said that in Matthew 11, 29, He said, I am gentle and humble in heart. Amen? Amen. So, I want you to follow this character like this. Amen? Amen? Amen. So, Peter said, these are the divine nature in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. Next slide, please. And Joseph, can you read the, what Peter said? Peter uh, said, 2 Peter chapter 2, can you read it? For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith, willingness, and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, brother, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. Amen. Amen. This is a, what? Divine, divine nature from Peter. And Matthew, would you read the poll? What Paul said in Galatians chapter 5? But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, oh. gentleness. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And, you know. <laughs> and, okay, here we go. Uh, Self control. Uh, Against such things there is no law. Okay, uh, Matthew, I recommend you to re memorize this. <laughs> something, okay, all these things are pleasing aroma, mm -hmm. pleasing aroma to God, and fragrance of Christians, and divine nature of God. Amen. 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 Finally, the sacrifice pre uh, represents Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And we. We, we just, you know, give, gave praise to God with the blood of Jesus, right? Amen. We, we, whenever we, we give praises, you know, uh, when Hyun Jung Sang Sang Nim choose, choose the, you know, songs, she, she put the words, you know, she cares about the blood of Jesus, right? And that's why. And, and this all, you know, the animal, bond sacrifice, it represents Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Who died on the cross about 2,000 years ago. Now God wants us to follow the way Jesus went so that we can be, we all can be pleasing aroma to God. Amen? Amen. 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 Next slide. You will love it. Summary. Okay? <laughs> so today we, we talked about Leviticus and Leviticus tells us the law to meet God. To meet God. And it deals with bond offering is dedication yourself to God. My challenging question is how much you are giving yourself to God? That's the question. Okay? Because bullet number three, God comes to you as much as you get close to God. As much as you love God. This is, you know, the condition. You want to meet God? Amen? Amen. 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 Then, Amen. give yourself to God. Amen. The amount that you give to God, God comes that much to you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Bully 4. Be the pleasing aroma to God and fragrance of Christ and show your divine nature of God to your family friends, the people around you. Amen. 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 This is the word of God. Amen. Amen.